Hey there, so today we have another review. This is Hop Slam. I completely forgot what Hop Slam season was. Uh, it's Bells, and uh, I reviewed this uh, quite a few times. I don't believe I reviewed it last year, maybe. Anyway, this is Can 14. So it is New Year's Eve. I don't know when I'll post this, unfortunately, but we're quite fresh. Six weeks fresh. Unfortunately, on warm shelf, but pretty good. Um, you, you guys can check out my. Uh, other reviews about the beer. Let's check this out first. So the beer is darker than I remember. Geez, that is an amber, right? This beer comes a light amber color for sure past deep gold. It definitely has a little bit of uh, a reddish hue to it. Um, I don't remember it being this color. Oh, interesting. Uh, also, a slightly tan head. Then we're in cold season also in Florida. Well, not cold season, but uh, non-hot season. So ideally, we shouldn't have too much like hot storage issues. Granted, warm shelf, blah, blah, but... It smells similar. I mean, I smell a little bit of papery oxidation going on. Uh, it smells like with that sweet kind of like grainy malt character that, um, or like sweet sticky kind of like malt character that uh, Hopslam has. Not too explosive on the nose. You could tell it's a hoppy beer, but like nothing too fresh and vibrant. This beer was never uh, aromatically vibrant. <sighs> Orange marmalade, grapefruit, slight pine, sweet malt. I mean, six weeks, man. What do you? How do we beat that? Like, how do we beat six weeks, right? Like, what, what else are you supposed to do about this? Unless it's a Best Buy. Oh, it could be Best Buy. Putting an item. Packaged. What could be the? What is the? What it? What is? What is the canning date on this guy? Because this it says thirty nine oh five five packaged. What? What could that possibly mean? I mean, like. It makes no sense. I, I, all I see is 11, 14, 22. If that's the best buy, then screw me. I'll have to look it up. They had six packs of it available as well. And big, boozy, um, what is it? Um, double IPA? This guy comes in at what ABV? Like something like, yeah, 10%. So it so says three month shelf life. I'll have to look it up. But let's say this beer is six weeks fresh. Um, Tastes about what it should taste like. This beer never sort of like had like great oomph to it. Always a little bit muddled on the malt. Uh, nice solid bitterness, quite lingering, which is quite nice. A little bit of hop saturation, that kind of like chewy kind of hop thing that sits on the back end. Uh, in general, hop flavor is slightly piney, sweet grapefruit. Um, uh, I guess the use of honey tends to help dry out the beer and maybe offer a little bit of sweetness, but I assume that actually is more... Uh, from attenuation and crystal malt use, right? Crystal malt, yeah. Or darker malt than pale. It tastes like what it tastes. It is really drinkable, 10%, but it doesn't really do anything specific that I'm like, wow, right? Uh, a great example would be a comparison to a simple beer like um, Terrapin Obsecution, something that probably not a lot of people care about. It was on BOGO or it was discounted at the uh, local uh, beer store. That beer is fine, tasty, a shelfy, uh, fine double IPA. I've actually probably given it a decent rating. This is like a hype-ish kind of beer, and my opinion still continues, especially if this beer is six weeks fresh. Like, man, this beer is not exciting in any sense. This beer, specifically, shows very little that would crush something like GABF. It doesn't have a concise clarity to it. It's a little bit muddled. Um, the bitterness sort of sits a little bit too long. Um, it doesn't have like a nice crispness to it. Like it doesn't shine on hops or anything specific. It's a little bit sweet up front. Hey, Rocco, stop it. It's a little bit sweet up front. Um, moderate hoppiness, moderate minus for a double IPA. Um, lingering bitterness. A little bit piney. A little bit resinous, um, not too West Coasty and too danky, just like a very like middle of the roadish kind of kind of like kind of guy. Uh, I will say the prominent bitterness is actually quite nice, possibly, but again, there's nothing here where I'm like, okay, th they did a great job on this one. Um, the dryness and bitterness is probably the best characteristics about this, and um, yeah, smell the booze on the nose. Again, if this was Best Buy eleven. 14, then thumbs up. That's really crushable. That really did a great job lasting way past Best Buy. 
Um, but if this is six weeks fresh, this is terrible. Um, not great. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume this is eleven fourteen. This is a good batch, fresh. And uh, I mean, again, like based on when it got here, probably got to the state from Florida all the way from Michigan. At best, is three you know three weeks in the state. So it sat on the warm shelf maybe three weeks at most. Um, right, three weeks to get here from from mid uh, November, and we're at the end of uh, December. Spirit gets a solid. Mm. It is a little bit more crisp than the hop executioner, I will say that. So there's a little bit more dryness to it, which is quite nice, but nothing crazy. 80. It gets a solid somewhere but I'm fighting between B and B plus. Um let's 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 break the difference and go 87. 87. 87. Good beer, nothing crazy, nothing great. Um, good beer, very good beer, nothing great. So until next time, guys, let me know what you think. Um, has your opinion on Hopslam uh, possibly changed recently? Cheers, later.